What's up YouTube and welcome to a brand new video. Um, this video is all about Capture One. We're trying to see if it's possible to, you know, do a portrait edit start to finish in Capture One, no Photoshop, right? So, I mean, I know it's possible because I did it already, but I'm going to take you guys through every step, how I went from um, this image here to this one here. Let me just change my split view so you can see exactly how we've gone from this rather raw image here to, to something that is more um, good looking, okay? So, um, first thing I'll do is I create a new um, a clone variant here. So this image is brand new and not has been done to it yet. So let's start working. All right, so the first thing I did here is, and the first thing I do with most of my portrait images, is that I kind of like, like to desaturate a little bit and bring down the contrast a bit because I want to, I kind of like to start from here, okay? So, um, I also believe that um, in color correcting, I have way just a little bit too much magenta in, in her skin, so, or in the image. I'm just going to bring my greens in a bit. So just drop it down like so. All right, and that looks good. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to add um, a style to the image, okay? So Capture has a number of styles that are inbuilt, and we're going to use one of them, which I know works very well with brown and kind of like gold tones. So I'm going to add here and create a new field layer. So remember, if you want to add a style in photo in Capture One rather, you have to create a brand new adjustment layer and apply your style to that layer. That gives you more control in the sense that you can reduce the opacity of the layer, if it's too much, you know, you can turn it off, see what it's doing, turn it off. You don't really want to be applying your style directly to your images, okay? So create a new adjustment layer. And as you can see, I see the field adjustment layer. So let's delete that. Hold on the plus button and create a new field layer. Now what this does is that it fills the layer, meaning that whatever you do goes over the entire image. Now, if I delete this for a second and just create a layer, you see that this is not filled. Even if I press M for mask, it doesn't show anything. So that's the difference. You really want to fill the layer to um, so make sure that whatever you're doing is going everywhere. Now, the next thing you want to do is right click on your adjustment layer and say apply adjustments from. Then you want to go to built in styles. And the particular one I'm looking for is spring SPR02. This is it right here. Right, so this is SPR02. And you can see what it has done. So we can turn this off and on, and you can see exactly what that is doing. Now, the next thing I'm going to do really quickly is I'm going to reduce the brightness a bit and just drop it a bit because I want it to have more contrast. Okay, so uh, that looks good. Remember, I'm still working on my adjustment layer one here, so I can just rename this style. Okay. Right, so you can see what before and after this looks like. Now, this is not like layers in Photoshop where um, the image is on the background, it's not on this style. This is just purely an adjustment layer. So that means that I can still go to my background and make edits that would still reflect on the image, okay? So any edits I make still reflect on the image here. So, uh, what I'd like to do is just bring down my mid-tones a bit. Um, just give it a little bit more punch and then add a little bit of clarity to the image. Okay, right. So um, if I push before and after, you can see we have come quite an interesting way already and the picture is already looking really good. Okay. The next thing I want to do is to create even a little bit more depth and to draw more attention to our model right here. I'll create a brand new um, layer. Now this is just a normal layer, this is not a field layer. And I'm going to name it Vignettes. I hope I got that spelling right. Now, we could use a normal Vignetting tool here uh, from background and then just, you know, put a regular Vignette on it. But the problem with this is that um, it kind of puts the center point of the image here as the as a reference point for the vignetting. 
right? So if I do this, you can see that the center point here is the reference point. So that means that it starts to darken into her face and her hair, and I don't want that. I want her face to be the reference point, right? So I can do that by using the radial gradient tool, okay? So um, you can get that by pressing T or by coming up here and clicking draw radial gradient. Now, before you draw a radial gradient, make sure you right click and check, is it draw mask inside or draw mask outside? In this case, we want um, draw mask outside. So we're going to leave it unchecked and we're just going to draw our mask like this from her face. And once you push M, you can see that everywhere else is selected apart from her face or her. You can extend this, you can play with the feather, you know, to your taste really. And then press M again. And now obviously we want to darken everywhere that is selected, everywhere that is red. So once we have this layer selected, you can go to brightness and then just bring down that brightness and then that just draws the attention more to the model's face. Right, so we press V to get out of the radar gradient tool, and we can press Y to see before and after. And that looks pretty interesting. So remember, like I said, you can always still go back to your background and do things like push this a bit. Um, let me just add some of that saturation back. And that looks beautiful. So this is before and after. And the next thing we're going to do is create a new heel layer, right? Because remember we said we don't want to do anything in Photoshop. So we're just going to zoom into the face. And we're going to go to um, the remove spots tool. All right, so I'm just going to zoom in a bit more. O oh, is the shortcut for that, by the way. And you can just click on whatever you want to disappear, right? Like Thanos, just vaporize them. And so what's interesting is that, you know, the reason why we go to um, Photoshop and do frequency separation is that that gives us a lot more control over how we deal with um, blemishes and all of that. But I mean, Capture One has really improved these tools such that you might not necessarily need to, you know, except if you're doing like proper, proper beauty work. If it's a portrait, I'm always, you know, she's a human being, she, yeah, her face is not going to be perfect. So, I mean, to get it to the point of where it's acceptable and it doesn't have to be like flawless and spotless, I mean, this does an amazing job, which is kind of incredible is is really good so for those people that you know if it's a wedding and you have so many images to go through you don't want to start to go into photoshop for everything remember you can change the size of this by increasing the brush the brush size by your bracket keys either up or down to um, target specific areas on the skin and this does a brilliant job. I mean, okay, so let's just go over. Okay, so we can get out of that tool now, and then I can show you before. Hold on. Okay, show you before and after. So that's pretty neat. And yeah. Next thing I'll do is maybe crop the image a bit. So crop four by five, because Instagram will not let us be if we don't crop four by five. So crop four by five. And voila, we are done. So uh, if you see anything that you want to fix, anything extra, like I see some blemishes on her face, on her arm, you can fix those as well with the exact same tool that I just used. Yep, and that's the end. So that's pretty much how you edit a picture in how many minutes? I don't know how long I've been recording for. Is it up to five minutes? I don't think so. Oh my God. 
nine minutes. <laughs> All right, so that's how you edit a picture in less than 10 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll be bringing you a lot of Capture One videos because Capture One is amazing like that. Um, so please make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And you know, try this out and let me know what you get. Thank you guys and see you in the next one. Bye.